Now we're going to see the troubleshooting for a single orifice float trap. The segregation of the troubleshooting is done in three different parts. One, not discharging condensate at all. Not discharging enough condensate and trap leaking steam. To troubleshoot point-wise, first we see not discharging condensate at all. To check that, ensure that the trap is installed in the correct direction. It follows the arrow on the body casting. It should always be in a horizontal plane. Check for any kind of blockages in the screen. We have an inbuilt screen in the trap. Remove the fasteners with the help of correct tools. Check the inbuilt screen for any kind of blockage. Clean the screen with wire brush or kerosene. Check the screen in a source of light for any kind of blockages. Once it is cleaned, reinstall the same inside the trap. Also check whether the valve seat is partially choked. If so, clean the surface. This is the orifice which has to be cleaned. And check for blockages. Once it is done, reassemble the float. Check whether the trap is getting steam locked. If so, adjust the SLR step with the help of a screwdriver. The SLR step should be cracked open. Rotate it in an anti-clockwise direction to keep it cracked open. Once this is done, check whether the float is intact and not punctured. Once all these things are cross-checked, assemble the trap into the trap body. The second type of failure is not discharging enough condensate. For this, ensure that the trap is installed in the right manner. The flow direction is being followed. Also check for any additional back pressure acting on the trap downstream. The third type of failure is steam leaking continuously. To cross-check these points, first will be the installation, same as we explained before. Check for SLR leakages. If so, replace the SLR step or clean it with a cloth. Once these points are addressed, reassemble the trap. This is how one troubleshoots a single orifice float trap.